Hmm. <clears throat> yourself. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> Have a great day. I am the doc. That makes you the patient, right? I can make it happen. Those dreams will come true. My dreams? You're here to trade. I'm here to make dreams come true. Everything you need. Drinks, cams, that special kick. The doc can make it for you. The doc can make it come true. Oh, whoa. I bet you could surf the sky if you took any of this guy's stuff. Why do they call you Doc? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? No. I am the best chemsmith here. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you want to feel, and I will make it happen for a prize. What do you have to offer? Nothing at the moment. Not a sizzling second of release. I've been robbed. Who robbed you? No, no, no idea. I was only gone for a little while, taking care of something. <laughs> now, the old doc has to make enough stuff again before he can start delivering again. <laughs> what was stolen? Well, everything. My entire stock, gone. Just gone. Everything gone. But you, you could help me. If you want to buy something, we'll have to find the thief. Do you have any leads? Go to the girls in the entertainment district. The girls know everything. And Cindy? is the best one to talk to out of all of them. She's got less attitude than the others. <laughs> She'll even talk to me. <laughs> talk to her. She might know something about who's trying to deal my cams. Oh yeah, he's right. Those ladies know how to get answers. I mean, guys get relaxed over there and they let all sorts of information slip. <laughs> got myself in trouble that way before. You sampled too many of your own cams. Oh, I don't do cams. The doc is a camsmith, an artist, a businessman. I'm not a consumer. Why are you laughing then? But I understand your confusion. Once upon a time, the old doc was normal. Then I had a sort of accident. When the outlaws wanted me to experiment with chems, let's just say there was a mix-up of the doses. I've not messed with concentrated chems since. Or taken it pure. Or on my birthday. Not that I've needed to. I mean, that was a high to last a lifetime. <laughs> Literally. I need healing. No problem. You should be better now. Welcome to the Entertainment District. Name your pleasure, name your desire, and here, you can make it happen. So, tell me, what do you desire? Desire? What do you dream of when you're out there in the desert all alone? Whatever it is, you can have it here. I can help you make those dreams come true. So, let me take those shards and give you your desires. But, you know where to find me before you go back out into that big, lonely desert again. It's hard to find what makes you happy. And when you do, you should hold on to it. 
Make it real, even for a short time before you lose it forever. Sounds like you're the one who lost something. Are you all right? Of course. Yes, look, honestly, I I'm fine. I just want you to tell me what you want. I can make it worth your while. Really, think about it. We can make an arrangement. It sounds like you're trying to pay me. Well, I'm just saying we can come to an arrangement. You can pay, or maybe you can help me in return. You help me, I can help you. Do you understand? What help do you need? If... if I tell you, I'm trusting you with my life, but... Someone I know, Liam, he's in trouble. Iron Madison has got her claws into him. I mean... I mean, she owns him. She treats him like he's her slave. What do you mean she owns Liam? Madison was the Duke's favorite for a while. It's over now, but she can still call on him. She might have made herself the Duke's plaything, but she likes to own people herself. Now, she's picked Liam, and if he refuses her anything, well, her last two playthings are dead, put it that way. Why do you care? Because I care, okay? He has to get away from her. He has to get free. How can I help? You'll help? For real? I mean, you have to know there's only one way to help. Iron Madison has to die. Otherwise, she'll come after him. After you, after me. There's no other way to end this but to kill her. If you want her dead, you'll have to kill her yourself. If I could have done it myself, don't you think I would have done it an age ago? I wouldn't stand a chance. If you really want to help me, you have to kill her for me. It won't be easy to kill her. And I should warn you that killing her openly risks the Duke coming after all of us. You'll have to find a way to get rid of her discreetly. You must hear a lot of things. Pillow talk, you mean? Yes, I get to hear all sorts. Tell me. What do you want to know? Don't expect to get the information for free. I need some information. And I need shards. So let's make a deal. Doc's chems were stolen. Have you heard anything about them? Stolen chems? No, I don't think anyone's been talking about them. Let me know if you think of anything. Okay, I will. Did you mean to do that? Leo's nearby. Let's find him and see if he's got a copy of that contract. Cindy can tell us who the thief is. No, no, that can be. Shit, shit. Then we'll have to speak to the outlaws around the fort. Outlaws steal. They steal often and steal a lot. So someone in here is going to know who stole them and who is fencing them. Now go. Search, search, search.
You know I can see you, right? You have no idea what is really going on. your chems. The Doc thanks you. Here, take this as a little gift. The old Doc can sell you more when you want them, when you need them, <laughs> if you get the taste. Don't you want to know who had your chems? I am always being robbed. They steal and they rob. If I were to do something every time, then I wouldn't have any more customers anymore. What's important now is that you can buy something from me, and so can anyone else. As much as you want, whenever you want. What do you have to offer? I have only the best cams made from the purest Elix. 